Well, we almost made it all the way to the top. So, we're jumping our gear out of the car real fast. I gotta get it back down the trail, down the road, and then we're gonna hump up, and then we'll start our journey, hit the trailhead. We didn't quite make it to the top like we were hoping to. There's been some rainfall. It's a little ruddy now, slippery, and uh, going down it wouldn't be very safe, so. We're gonna put the car down at the bottom, we're gonna hump up, and then we'll start our journey. Everybody, we made it through the night. I don't know if we were going to, it was pretty touch and go there for a little bit. There's a big nasty storm that came through and uh, blew our tent over on top of us. So Slick had to jump out in his skivvies out in the rain and get everything set back up while I held the tent poles up. But we made it through and this morning isn't too bad, knock on wood. So I think we're just gonna start glassing from camp. So, got our first group of the day. There is another hunter over on that face that we were glassing. So, they ended up winding him and took off. There was a bunch of them. We never got eyes on all of them. So, ones we did see were does, but I mean, we've only been glassing for about 10 minutes. So, it's good to see that there's still deer back here. I was a little worried because there's a lot of rigs parked kind of down at the trailhead, but so far we've only seen one guy. do is get our bags ready this morning grab some food some lunch we're just gonna start working this ridge line out towards kind of like where we were bear hunting um, if you watch that episode then you kind of know the terrain we're gonna be in so we came in here scouting trip did some bear hunting saw a lot of deer in here so we're pretty excited about it. I just spotted the first buck of the trip. However, he's deep. Yeah? Where's he at? Uh, so go up the other side, come about 100 yards down from the top. You'll see like three yellow bushes. One, two, three. He's, he's in the bushes. There's so many bushes over there. <laughs> I looked over there, I saw about 42 yellow bushes. Hey, you asked me where he's at. I just told you. Bro, you gotta be a little more descriptive. That whole thing's rocks, man. Bro, there's there's like, no me, way. Give me at least like a ridge line, maybe. Like we got this ridge line right in front of us that's running straight up. Yeah, he's two ridge lines over from there. To the right? Yeah. So he's like over over there. So you got this ridge line right going up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then you got kind of the flat ridge line. Okay, right. so you see this, you see the tart, the green trees kind of going up that chute? Yep. Okay, so he, if you go up towards the top, okay. he should, he's probably going to pop out somewhere around there. Got gotcha. Maybe on the okay, other Okay, so side. mine's over here almost where this ridge line comes to the top. Okay. I thought my three bushes were going to be perfect. You don't want to go today? I just don't think we have time today. I mean, I gotta look at the map and see what what it looks like. It's gonna, dude. That's 
I mean, the only way is to go all the way out around, hit the other trail, come up over the top. I mean, we're talking hours, man. You mean back to the rig and... Back what? Back to the rig? No, oh, no, no, oh, no. okay. Just back to the trail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, friends, we found some deer. There's about two, there's two legal bucks. There's, there's one decent one. Uh, he's a great Washington buck for sure. Uh, there's just a ways away and it'd be a, it'd be a hoof to get over there and back. So today, today, but we have time. I don't think they're going to be going too far. I'm pretty sure they're going to stay on that hillside, so, or that big mountain face. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited, though. It only took us about an hour, and we are finding deer. And we got two shooters on one mountain. <laughs> All right, so I'm making the call. He's bedded. His two girlfriends are bedded. We're going to work our way back get back toward camp and then once we go to camp we got to hit another trail go off to the right of them above them hopefully once we get there we'll find them shoot them and it'll be all good but it's gonna be roughly three three and a half miles somewhere right in there so probably four. Isaac says probably four but he's a nice buck and we're here to hunt so we're gonna give it hell I mean, not a waste because we did find them over there. That's true. But it works out. Yeah, we we definitely didn't need to. We can see them. Almost better from right here, don't you think? Oh yeah. Either way, dude. I, I don't see why you don't go after them. Right now? No. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, had I spotted him, I'd I'd be going after. Him. Although, wait, you didn't spot him. Alex did. So, is what's it Alex's or? What's the rule? I don't know. You know. Did we just talk about it? I think Alex should go after him. Is it Alex's buck? <laughs> no. That's, that's exactly what we talked about, where you, you saw the deer that's and then we I started asked. looking at the groove. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I asked if it was, what's the rule? Did we just talk about this? Had a boy. a few shots, too. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta zoom out. Holy crap. What do we got there? Uh, I think some fireball, you some Seagram 7. So there's no water up here, so we, we had a buddy drop us off some water. Yeah, there's a bunch more of it. But he also left us a couple little treats. <laughs> he knows Slicks like spices. Ugh, he knows <laughs> Slick likes his fireball. I haven't even had any yet. I'm already slurring. So I think we should wake up. Yeah. Glass from here. Yeah. Maybe you, have, you can have your espresso and we can maybe have some breakfast. And I said, regardless if we do or don't locate them, I think we should put ourselves over there tomorrow. Yeah. Well, the storm came in. We're about to get pounded and we're going to get socked in, so. Take a little break in the tent. Maybe take a nap. Well, good morning, day two. Didn't sleep very good last night. My sleeping pad popped, and I thought I'd had a patch kit and put it together, but after I slept or woke up sleeping on the ground like eight times, 
I looked at what I used and apparently it was just water sealant. So basically I had a really waterproof hole, but fixed it with some super glue and got a little bit of sleep this morning. Slept in because of it, but that's okay. So good morning. We're gonna get after it. We're gonna locate Slick's buck and then go after him. Well, it looks like we finally picked up the deer from yesterday, maybe. They're not too far off from where they were. Just taking a little, a little look-see. Well, now I gotta refind them, but. Uh. Well, we've been sitting here watching this group feed around for a little bit. They finally bedded down. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack up some stuff Hope that they stay bedded for a while and make a play over there. It's gonna be a pretty long haul. It'll probably take us a couple hours. You got your route picked out on how to get on top? I'm not sure yet. I think I do. But Well, we've been at it for about three hours. Just kind of got up to the top. We still got to dump down the other side. And it's starting to snow on us. At least it's not rain. Well, as you can see, we are now officially socked in. Meaning our visibility is next to none. So, this sucks. So we pushed pretty far back here. Didn't quite make it. We're just playing the glass in between fog sessions, so don't have a whole lot of footage for you guys. It's pretty cold, really foggy. Um, Slick did have a little forked horn buck walk about 100 yards away from him while we were sitting here, but that's all it was was a forky, and we didn't have the camera out because it's been wet and gross. So that is the update, and hopefully we can get it done. <laughs> I don't know, we're thinking about maybe pulling camp and heading to the desert, so get out of this weather. This weather's pretty nasty. Well, I think that's gonna do it for us, guys. I think we're gonna back out, head back to camp. It took us three hours to get in here. Weather sucks, so it's like, I don't know, almost four, so we're probably not gonna get back by the time it gets dark anyway. All right, made it back to camp. It took about two hours. Uh, found a little faster way to come back. Um, it was a good it was a good setup good game plan just the basin we were in was just completely fogged out so um, I think we're gonna probably pack out in the morning and go to the desert where it's a little bit drier uh, We checked the forecast and it looks like it's supposed to be like pretty much rain the rest of the time so well, We're finding bucks, but it's kind of pointless if we can't get to them because it's all fogged out we can't see them so i think we're gonna hang out maybe have a fire tonight and then probably pack out in the morning yo dinner time today no excuse me tonight is going to be lasagna with meat sauce it's pretty good that one is tasty yeah yeah i'm doing the the chicken soup one the chicken one yeah what's that chicken whatever it's called pesto no that's the one I had last night. Oh, chicken and rice? Yeah, the chicken rice and the sauce or whatever it is. Oh yeah, that one's banging, bro. Mm, I had that one on bear season. That one's what? That one's banging. Is it? I had, that's the one I had up there when we uh, had dinner up there on the, the bear night. Oh, it is? Yeah. And I couldn't, I couldn't help myself but hum, it was so good. Yeah, yeah dude, that one's banging. Mm. I like that one. Yeah. That one's my number two right next to the Strogi. Really? Yep.
I just wish they stayed warmer. Cook your water longer. Dude, the boil's a boil, man. That's true. <laughs> like you can't get more of a boil. <laughs> we just got some messages in. Got a little bit of service and it sounds like a pretty gnarly storm's coming in. And uh, it's gonna be here all day tomorrow. So we are gonna throw an audible and pack up camp at 8.50 p.m. We're gonna pack up camp, we're gonna head back to the truck, cruise to the nearest town, probably just grab a room or something and then we'll start our journey uh, to the next spot tomorrow morning. But we figured since everything is dry and uh, there's no wind, that'd be a good, good opportunity to pack up and, and leave now before we're doing it in a storm and it's extremely wet and rainy. So that's what we're doing. Ready, set, go.